Hello, I decided to do this video on my floral dress collection since um, floral prints are really big this fall season and I decided to do a floral video through the ages. As you can see right now I am wearing a vintage 1980s dress. This reminds me so much of the time when I was growing up when uh, dresses from Laura Ashley and the Chelsea girl image was very very on trend then and um, in a way this um, fashion has evolved now the cap sleeves are coming back although it's in a different shape and um, more voluminous and um, the floral print is really really big this fall season um, it's very huge and red and um, i'm going to be going through all the florals through the decades i've got on a jessica howard dress and this dress kind of reminds me of uh, uh, julia roberts in the steel magnolias i love that film so much i kept watching it over and over again and, and I never get sick of it. I love all her movies and especially in that movie because it reminds me so much of my childhood growing up. We lived in that sort of a neighborhood where everyone had um, huge houses with gardens and we had parties in each other's houses and those times were such happy times when my parents were still alive and we didn't know <laughs> what difficulty was um, everything was fine everything was parties everything all of us went overseas to study all our parents were well the, the economy was fantastic fabulous so that's why i always love the 80s it always brings me back to happier times um, anyway to get this video started um, i would like to show to you all these dresses one by one because the details are so fine and I would like to show them to you before I put them on. This dress, I think it is from the 1970s by the way that it's designed and the print is absolutely beautiful. This is a typical 1970s um, dress with a sheen on it. If you can see it's got a sheen to the material those of us with mums from those times they will be able to remember this sort of a material which actually has come back recently as well so what i love about this is although it's got like a pink i'm not so sure what i think this is a silk dress um although it's pink and then it's got blue petite blue floral details on it and what i love about this is the buttons i really really hope that the camera can pick it out um, it's sort of like a bake light buttons and inside each button there is a rose and the rose is actually carved i really really hope that the camera can pick it out okay so it's got pleats mini mini pleats at the bottom and typical of the clothes during this era it falls um, the length falls to the calf length and it's very very ladylike and beautiful and this fashion has evolved today many thanks to duchess kate middleton who has popularized this look and so it has come back into fashion um a few years back i was looking through and i was reminiscing my mom's clothing from the 1970s and all the magazines she had and i was so wished for it to come back and now it has come back in full swing so i'm very very happy about that so this shall be my first look from the 1970s the floral prints is very petite very ladylike very sweet another dress as well from the 1970s this is from japan as with the japanese this material is almost gossamer you can see my hand right through even though i'm showing my hand through two layers this is through one layer and this is through two layers this is obviously a summer dress 
and as uh, in the older dresses this does not even have a slip so I need to wear it with my own slip but what I love about it is that it has these autumn colors and look at the um, I always forgot the term for that you know the edging here if you look at it it's very very tiny tiny lace all over it all over the neckline it's very very minute in details the lace is so so refined and so delicate and look at the print of it absolutely beautiful even today it, the color has not faded whatsoever and I don't know how to explain it to you the movement of this dress is absolutely fabulous the way the, the dress falls the way that there's just enough materials there's lots of material for the skirt so that when you move about and the way that they tailor it it really really flatters your figure so together with this autumn dress I decided to match it with this um, also the same sort of a material this is what you call almost like a linen cotton material and I featured it before but in case you have not watched the previous videos each of the leaf comes with a um, sort of hole through it so that even though you're wearing a summer jacket you still feel very very cool wearing it so I have decided to match it together with this because it seems very very lovely when I tried it on yesterday I always vet through my clothing before I show you uh, in the video just to ensure that it, it is matching and because I didn't really think that this jacket would match but when I saw this material it reminded me of this jacket and when I put it together it seems to be beautifully fitting with each other like it's made of made for each other and it's both from Japan I always feel that I'm sharing all this clothing on the videos because I always feel that um, I don't know I feel very closely related to those people imagine how many decades ago and they'll sit down those designers for the material will sit down and think of what sort of material um, to print with and what sort of print or pattern that should be printed on the material and then and then the designer of the clothing will take the material and they'll imagine how best to design the material um, to come up with finally a, a finished product like this dress and then I'm thinking it's such a waste and then it's so nice to be able to share with all of you all these clothes before it just fades into oblivion because we are paying attention to fashion is an anthropological historical record of how people wore and how people dress up and and i'm so glad because vintage has enabled us to be able to give them a second uh, lease of life in my hometown it's still quite frowned upon when you we wear vintage people will look at you weirdly and they'll think why are you wearing vintage don't you have any money to buy modern clothing what I've I've got tons of modern clothing as well but it's just that I just love the beauty of it the material of it and when you wear it it's so so comfortable because the modern clothing are not made of such great material I don't know how to explain it to you but even through the camera even if you are not wearing it you can really feel that it's breathable beautiful material and I know that it's the best quality because Japanese people are very very known very well known for the aesthetics together with my own culture or my mom is a korean they are very very conscious of not only the look of it but the feel of it on your skin and that it's comfortable for the wearer uh, to wear as long as well as being aesthetically pleasing this next dress that i have on i know i said that this is a floral um video but i do not know why i I just feel that I should show this dress when I I saw it in the vintage dress I just had to have it because the design is so beautiful and then it reminds me of the type of clothes that my mom wore back in the 70s because I grew up when I was um, from 5 to 10 years old I would grew up in the late 70s and then later for my teenage years I grew up in the 80s 
so i saw her wearing clothing from the 70s as well so this is typical of the 1970s clothes just like i showed you the pink one it's got a it's made of silk and it's got a sheen to it and i don't know whether you called it embossing i'm i'm still not sure of the terminology but all these um patterns are embossed and it's got a sheen to it and then the wonderful thing about this is that this thing see it's got buttons on it the details of the buttons and it's got buttons on this side as well so you can button it to the side so that it will not move about this is typical of 1970s design but look at the way that um, the sleeve is designed it's one whole piece there's no middle seam oh there is a middle seam but look at the workmanship of the seam you can hardly see the seam that's why i thought there was no middle seam and then they've designed it like this at the back and this is the front and look at the detail of the sleeve it's individually sewn look at the seam the sleeves individually sewn isn't that beautiful absolutely beautiful and then this is the matching belt and then behind the belt there is even a fastener with buttons on it so this could be late 60s to 70s i know because my mom has got a fabulous dress with this fastening for the bra strap that's how detailed people were in the past this is why i love vintage you don't you cannot find this sort of a high quality or such attention to detail in today's clothing so i'm going to be showing this to you i love this dress so much it comes in a sort of like a beigey gold color the next dress that i have on this was popular in uh, in the early 2000s late 1990s this is a silk dress as well it's got tiny pleats all over it and it's got tiny floral patterns in the middle of the dress with ruffles underneath pleats underneath and then towards the side you've got the fuchsia details so that and also you see these ruffle sleeves it's a double ruffle actually it's a double layer of ruffles and the fact that you've got a darker color at the side it gives the illusion of a slimmer body line so this is one of my uh, most frequently used floral designs if i were to go to church and there is no air conditioning it's very simple and easy to wear the next dress that i have on i got this um, a few years back before the long sleeved um, fashion was in on trend so this one was very very famous a few years back when you have all these sort of uh, exotic flowers i think it's meant to be like uh, tropical flowers with leaves on it i love the colors on this dress because it's very very rich colors and then it goes against the pop of the sky blue so and i love the length of it this was when the length um, started to go longer and up to the calf up to now where the length is up to the calf so it's much more ladylike much more elegant look at the print on it absolutely outstanding and then i decided to pair it with this vintage jacket that i got and i almost gave it away because i found that it's a bit too tight for me but i'm so glad i didn't give it away because i lost a little bit of weight recently and look at the design of it even the waist with the pockets this is where i'm going to be matching print on print this would go well i tried it out yesterday i thought print on print would be too much but i think this is just wonderful because this is subdued autumn colors against this um, pop of blue it looks absolutely fabulous 
finally as we are coming into the latest fashion this is the latest fashion that is a brocaded floral dress i've um, featured this dress previously in my pearl collection video um, this is very very on trend i got this very recently um, it's got huge flowers on it and it's brocaded which is very very on trend for fall but for fall, co fall colors they've used very very bright red roses rose print on it um, this is also calf length so i'm going to be showing this as well as a final piece in my floral video